Hi everyone! You are watching our new TV show, The Immigrant Show. In this program, guests from different countries of the world tell their stories of immigrating to the USA. My name is Katerina Karpunina. I am from Ukraine and I am ready to introduce our new guest. Welcome! <laughs> Natalia Blackmore. And Hello everyone! <laughs> Never give up and follow love is the main credo of our guest from Ukraine. She didn't know English, but she learned it in the US. She wanted love, and then she met her husband online. You know what? And also, leaving her dream job, she decided to move to the USA. And uh, I don't know, is it fate or the decision of the heart? Let's find out right now. We'll try. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, Katya. I'm so excited that you are in I'm my so show. I'm so excited here be too. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing today? I'm great. You great? Yes. <laughs> you need relief. Yes, I'm trying <laughs> you need to. Relief. You need to. You need to uh, think song. So, how is your summer, by the way? It's going great. It's kids still at school and uh, will enjoy the end of started enjoying the end of this week when they will be ended their school. Do you have some plans for this summer? Not so much, just enjoy life, like, you know, and get relaxed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think this year was so, so different, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so different. Uh, before our interview, I have some warm-up game. Okay. It's like task, but, um, so I have the beginnings of the sentences, and, he, and you need to finish it. Okay. It's very easy. I believe in love. Oh. <laughs> to survive in the USA, you need supportive family and a purpose. To move to the USA, you must have desire. If someone had told me that I would live in the US, I I would laugh at that person. <laughs> Is it a joke? Are you kidding me? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, when I think about Ukraine, I I wish for victory. If I have troubles in my life, I will try to find another way. Something I wish for in my life are to be a good mother and support my kids. That's great. Um, a person needs only three things. These are health, love and family. And glory to Ukraine. Glory to heroes. <laughs> it's going to be our password for this show, guys. If you know, glory to Ukraine, glory to heroes. So, 14 years ago, Natalia, um, a young girl, decided to move to the USA. It was not so young ago, <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> um, so, uh, what I was, was your age? Uh, 34. 34. Yes. But it's young. Yes, it's uh, young. <laughs> compared with now. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you are from uh, the charming city of Rivne, and you had a, you didn't have a dream, yeah? You no. wanted to laugh, you wanted to laugh. And for what reason did you decide to move to the USA? I decided to move to the USA, it was not decision of one day, you know, and uh, um, to be married with my future husband, have family, kids together. Mm -hmm. That How was my reason. <laughs> And I think it's so, so interesting story about your future husband. How was it? I met my future husband online. Online? Yes, <laughs> online. I'm, I'm like, I'm not that person, but it's, it's good. It's good. Can uh, keep going. <laughs> okay. Uh, one summer, you know, we have a long vacation. Teachers, I was working as a teacher. A teacher has a long vacation. And uh, I load my picture online. It, what I could do is just put likes. Mm -hmm. uh, because you need like paying extra money to send the text some um, some sentences. Okay. Right? Yeah, sure. And uh, he answered. He was able to write me. He added me to his account. We started communicating. A few days we exchanged phone numbers. We started to learn about each other. And um, <laughs> after we started a video chat, of course, it was day by day. You know, sometimes it was hard because of different time. Yeah. Uh, his morning, my late uh, night. Oh, sure, six, seven hours. Seven oh, hours, wow. yeah, it's a seven hours different time. And um, I waited, his, I started feel I wait for his calls, I wait for his uh, good morning. He's still sending me every morning good morning text messages. Really? And yeah. now even? Yes, oh my yes. Gosh. 
if like it's 12 o'clock uh, afternoon and I didn't get that message, honey, everything okay? Like, you know, what's going on? That's I didn't great. get my good morning. And um, yeah, I started miss that person. I, st- I learned about his life. Uh, what does he do for job? He learned about me. And in six months, he decided to visit me first time. Where was it? Uh, I met him in uh, Kiev, uh-huh. and uh, we took a bus to Rivne. Uh-huh. Uh, we spent wow. like uh, two weeks was his vacation. Uh, we spent most of in Rivne. I don't remember first time here. I introduced him to my parents. I uh, introduced him to some of my closest friends. Like, you know, I didn't do it sufficiently. I don't know how it will be going in just a few months. It's like, you know, and uh, yeah, we visited Lviv. Like, I, of course, I organized some. It's very romantic. Uh, I organized guys. something. Yeah, we spent yeah. amazing a few days in Lviv. He loves it. It's like, you know, that history or old history and everything. And uh, we visited Ostrich city mm-hmm. and uh, most of time spent in uh, Rivne. Yeah, even he was leaving after he back to United States yeah. and uh, we started communicating again continue more and, and more. we started think about be marriage. Ooh. But to be marriage, it's like you cannot imagine how long it's process, you need to prepare a lot of paper. Uh, yeah. You need to um, show a lot of proofs. And because I, I came to United States on visa K-1. Mm-hmm. It's a, that 90 days fiancé visa. You so, can see so it's on TV show. Uh, yeah, tell like, us yeah. about what is it. What is it? It's first time when I... Um, when I understand, what, like, what what is it? 90 uh, days, days fiancé. fiancé yeah, USA. they have shown TV. Actually, I watched that show first time, like, just a few years ago okay. here. If you sit with my husband on the couch, you hold his hands. Like, oh. those emotions, what people show mm-hmm. on that show, it's real. It's what I went through and him went through. And, like, you... Um, my husband visited after me during the summer. Mm-hmm. In the six months again, we spent amazing vacation together with him. And... Um, I signed up that summer paper, and he signed up paper, and he sent it to immigration, some office, I, I don't know, here somewhere. Like, you know, I was that time not so in paperwork. Mm-hmm. And um, we started to wait. Uh, we waited for a few months, I think like six months maybe again. And I got answer, like, uh, I got invitation to embassy. Yeah. I need to set up an appointment to have my interview. I have to bring ton of proofs. Uh, oh I God, didn't see him first papers. time. Like, I know it's ton of paper. I'm so glad most of that paper and proofs my husband was doing. Like, you know, like, I I was, I, I nothing didn't do. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest, well, like, yeah. And uh, <laughs> listening to you, I understand you are such a trusting and decisive person. No, I don't think so. Like you know, <laughs> I'm not trusting strangers. Like yeah, I have to but learn about. But you like, yeah. him. No, but I knew uh, before we had interview in um, at the embassy. Mm-hmm. I knew him for one and a half year. It's one and a half year. So yes, it's, it's yeah. not just like you know. Uh, in six months, I went to embassy. Okay, yeah. I won't go. Like three <laughs> days, three days after. Him, like, okay, yeah. I'm ready to get married with you. Yeah, <laughs> it was one and a half year. It was yeah. his third visit. He came to go with me together to embassy. He was on my an interview. He didn't do nothing. We just like yeah. Most of uh, a few questions they ask me. He just standed next to me. And after they give you ticket. Yeah. You don't know. It's kind of colorful. You don't know it's yes or no. It just told me, okay, go leave your passport in that office. I said, okay, you know, you're like in fog. Like, oh you gosh. like don't understand nothing. Something happening around you, but you like kind of slow emotions. Like, you know, okay, I understood in a few minutes I got um, approved. I can move to United States and I left my passport, we're back to Rivne, I started meet my friends, my students, my uh, parents mm-hmm. and saying like tell them officially because before like I didn't tell nobody like people I decided to be married. We don't know to last moment. If I didn't get visa, yeah. nothing could be happened. Mm-hmm. So how did your parents and friends react to your choice to move to the USA? Uh, parents reacted surprisingly quiet. Quiet? Uh, quiet, yes. Just, you know, uh, like, I was giving mm-hmm. them information. Mm-hmm. They knew him from first visit. They yeah. knew him as well for one and a half. Yeah, they saw him on real life. 
And the, does they la- like him? Um, <laughs> like, it's another culture. It's yes, like another person. Yes, it's yeah, another different. person. But he was always so kind, so patient with me. Like you know, like um, I don't know, like. Parent just was listening information and I just, don't remember they say like no. It's your choice. Yes, it's it's your choice. Like but I didn't hear yes, go. Like, you know, you can go, of course try. I didn't hear those words either, like, you know. And uh, my friends wish me good luck. I told just my super close friends, like, wow. you know, if you and uh, my students been crying. Like, yeah, I went to school, I tell them, I told my boss when I come back from Kiev, because he gave me, like, um, in the middle of the busy uh, school year, uh-huh. I came to the boss, I said, can you give me, like, two weeks, please? I need it, like, uh, I cannot be at school. And uh, he gave me, didn't ask any questions. Even I come back, I went to his office, I said, I- I'm leaving. He said, I knew that. I don't know how, yeah. but like, yeah, he didn't ask any, any more questions, just wish me good luck. But I went to meet my student last time after school, like in a classroom. Everybody been crying. Oh, and my, hus- my future husband was with me. Oh, and really? oh, we exchanged emails. I ah. told them it's not different planet people, like, you know, <laughs> don't worry, I still will be here. <laughs> I just wanted to say that it's a uh, like yeah it's a bit it's a big step but it was fate or or something but I understand it was love so yes. you did everything because of love yes That's of great. course <laughs> but how did you communicate with him in English because you didn't know English before oh, you know uh, I told you I had my Nokia with buttons or Samsung yeah, I don't yeah. remember he had iPhone kind of like already at that time like 14 years ago he came with his iPhone but I had my this size dictionary, yes, in my purse. <laughs> that purse almost his was carried each time oh my on God, his shoulder. Yes. <laughs> you know, that was for a while, the dictionary with me. Still, I started some classes here. The dictionary was always with me. So this dictionary is so important for you even now? Yes, I still have it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you, you use it? No. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, Tell me, uh, how did you start learning the language and did you have any difficulties? Oh, of course. I want to tell you, like, um, I study English at school, Mm -hmm. I study English at the university. But I don't know why. I didn't have a reason to study it. It's kind of, it was those classes you knew, you never will not use that information, you never will not use that language. It was so hard for me, like... Like, still my kids telling me, Mom, you're, like, perfectionist. Like, you know, you, like, you want everything perfect. Like, I understand now with my kids it cannot be possible. Like, you know, I try to, like, calm down. But, like, that time I was studying, I had great, good grades, like, you know, but that English, it was, like, not just for me. I told myself, I think, like, big test. I had, like, final test in the nine grades, like, from the middle school when you go yeah. to high school. And um, I told myself, oh, okay, I will try to pass the test, but I don't need this English. I never will not use it. I never will not go. <laughs> like, I started to think, like, where I can use English? Okay, I never will not go to United States, and I never will not go to England. You know, just I say, like, when I met my husband, yeah. how hard that time I started learn English from the beginning. Yeah, I knew, like, cat, mother, sister, father, brother, yeah. like, you know, sure. it's all. But I was hard, I remember my words. Like, you know, I'm telling my kids now, never say never. <laughs> never <laughs> you know? say never, yeah. It's, it returned to me like as karma, like it's a ah, good karma, but you know, yeah. it's a great yeah. karma for me, but like... Sometimes yeah. you don't know where you can use it, and in some moment, when you so, so, so need it, you can. Yes, you, you don't have it. <laughs> can a person learn English on his own, or... Is it necessarily to have a friend or to have a teacher, tutor? Like, depend of person. I think in the beginning you need to have a teacher. Mm-hmm. Like, my teacher, when I started, like, continue relationship with my husband, I still was living in Ukraine. My teacher was great, my friend from same school. She was an English teacher. I was taking her with her classes. And uh, I needed... She was 
so pushing me, like, you know, be honest, when I was preparing my homework, yep. uh, I was crying. I said, too much, too much, like, I cannot do it, like, you know, too much, but still was continuing, continue to do it. And uh, I'm appreciate her, she was strict with me, she was my best friend, actually, she was so strict with me, but she pushed me so hard. Mm-hmm. She pushed me so hard, yeah. That's, that's In the beginning, story. yes, maybe after, like, now, yeah. I can open book if I don't know a few words, if I don't know a few terms. Of course, I open my dictionary, like, you know, I take iPhone, yeah, and like, you a few seconds, it. I know translate, how mm-hmm. can translate this? <laughs> and by the way, your English now is very advanced. And what are your tips for newcomers, for people who want to in a new country and or just want to know new language? You know, when I came to United States, my English was like this, maybe. Like, you know, my husband, what was good, my husband knew my level. If he tried to communicate with me, with easy words, tried to explain me everything, he was so patient with this, like, and still now, like, you know. And uh, here, you have to, what was my help here for me, help me, it's uh, in two weeks, when I spent here two weeks vacation, like just relax yeah, and yeah. everything, I said, okay, now I'm bored. Like kids might now say, mom, what are we doing next day? What are we doing tomorrow? I'm yeah, bored. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I, we found that my husband found those um, King Community Education mm-hmm. um, School. Uh, they had a classes, ESL classes, English uh, second language for adult. In yeah. two weeks, I've been in that class already. Like my teacher recommended me because I didn't have a job, I didn't drive. Said if you're able, take all classes: beginners, intermediate, advanced classes, all classes. What you can visit, yeah. you can take all of them. I was taking like five classes a week, like you know. But uh, it was so helpful that time. Yeah. First, it's community. You find the people same as you with accent, with not perfect language, and, uh, yeah. Like your friends, you yeah. know, when, when somebody don't know um, about something, and you have the same trouble, just mm-hmm. like, oh, we, I, I'm your friend, because we don't know English, it's, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what about work? America is country of hardworking people, yes. and um, you have, you have, like you have clear goal in your life and uh, each person can say it is it generally um, difficult to find a job in america yes like first year uh everywhere where i was sending application it mm-hmm. was online this was a simple job at the store i was looking you know i understood my level of english and uh, nobody answered me what i could put my in my um, paperwork like uh, previous job previous experience it's like teacher from ukraine like you know it's no nobody answered me but after one lady from ESL classes she was living to her country for six months mm-hmm. it's a long term and she just recommended me to um, to her boss yeah to take me for those six months on her position and i appreciate him he took me yeah, and that was my first job, first experience. Like, uh, I was, rec- I, I would recommend people like just find your community, yep. find first friends, uh, learn he- about them. Uh, they will help you. Like, you know, yeah. it it can happen. Yeah, guys, here in America or in different countries, yes. you need to have same as friends, Ukraine. Yeah, of course. Uh, what was your career in Ukraine? And maybe you want to continue this activity here? Yeah, I was educated, um, I had master degree, like I was educated like an um, elementary teacher and mm-hmm. an art teacher. And uh, for over 10 years I was working as an art teacher at the school and I did um, classes at the computer academy. Yeah. It was graphic and art history. Mm-hmm. Um, here, when I moved here, of course my... Uh, first on first place was for me to build a family to have a kids uh, to learn english and how communicate with people is some way i was looking one time you know how you can prove your diploma and everything because i have everything translated mm-hmm. but you know this life is so fast yeah like, you know <laughs> life is, life so, is fast. so fast if you want something you do something and after it's just 
today, tomorrow, the but day after tomorrow, it's just, oh my God, it's yes, New it's Year. <laughs> yes, yes, you are right, you know. I feel like I said, I was asking my friends, it's because I have kids now, why yes. it's so fast? It's so why fast. It's so like, fast. You know? But you know, I had experience here. I had experience to teach here. Through King Community Education, mm -hmm. my um, English teacher at that time, my friend, introduced me to her boss. They offer me classes, they're doing classes for adults at, in the evening cooking, art classes. I was doing for two seasons before Easter. Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing classes. It's a, a decorated uh, Easter eggs with Petrikivka, Petrikivka technique. Yeah, if you know, uh, by yeah. the way, it's Ukrainian technique for painting. That's, yeah, that's so, so amazing. Uh, yeah, it's so bright, yeah. it's so colorful, it's uh, connected with nature, all yeah. elements. Like, you know, it's different for people here. And like people sign up for those classes, I was so excited, I was so scared, yep. to be honest, because it was like my third year here, or maybe second year, I don't remember already. And uh, you know, like, uh, it was so natural for me. It was so natural, yeah. Yeah, it was so natural, I just like, yeah, I was scared they will not understand me. My first word was saying, listen people, if you don't understand me, I just can show you. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> because it's an art you can, I can show. Of like, course. Yeah. Like, but everything was fine. They told me they um, every, understood everything what I've been saying and explaining. Like, yeah. yeah. They love that. I like it. That's I great. I like it. I, I'm thinking about something like, you know, uh, who knows? Like, I would love to do something like it. So you can, uh, um, you can do your activity here, but um, is it possible to work here without an American diploma? Yes, it's possible. Yes, it's, it's possible. possible, but uh, yes, you need a friend in the beginning to recommend you to get your first job, second job, like, mm -hmm. you know, not it will be easier. So you said to me about um, some good things and bad things in your life, how you moved here. What about your first struggles here? Because every person has uh, moments of failure, yeah? What were your first struggles in a new country? Well, you know, when you move here, uh, I understood it's the same planet, it's the same people. It's the same earth, yeah. yeah but you know, those details, <laughs> yeah. those details, <laughs> everything different people, yeah. everything. Everything. Culture, food, uh, holidays, how people celebrate those holidays. Yeah. You know, I was not enough. People. Like, you <laughs> know, those, people? I was not enough, like, our... Uh, Christmas and Easter, it's like not less than three days. Yeah, yeah he exactly. Like, one day, family together, I'm happy my mother-in-law like uh, hold us all together, invite and we see each other. Yep. Done. Next day, go to work. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. We like to celebrate. In, in <laughs> but we not enough. Yeah. yeah. If we have like, uh, in winter, we have uh, like first January, it's New Year. Yeah, it's seven days. Seven days. I was explaining my husband, he couldn't understand it. said, people, what are you doing seven days? <laughs> like, <laughs> we need to relieve. Yeah, if first I failed, it was, uh, I didn't pass my um, written driver's test. Yes, Why? I didn't pass it. I was studying, so mm -hmm. I was, I knew all 100 questions on memory. Mm -hmm. I knew all answers. But you know why? Uh, mm -hmm. Because I understand this now, and the test was same questions, but they've been using different words. Mm. Like, different words. It's terms? Maybe, it's different terms? Different terms, yeah, like, uh, synonyms, synonyms, like you know, synonyms and yeah, yeah, and idioms, yeah. If yeah, if it's like if you don't have, know, yeah. you don't know. You just uh, that because I failed that test, like I didn't pass it. I was so angry about myself. I don't know why because, because you study so hard. You like to do perfect. And like yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was so angry about myself. And like my husband doesn't don't touch you for two three days. Like you don't know, <laughs> but I give you come down. And they told me like, actually you can come back in a ten days and like after one two days uh, be angry and. Okay, I don't want anything. Like, I and don't want nothing, nothing. Like, yeah, I don't want any more driving. Like, I will sit like in my home. Like, I don't need it. But two more days at the house, no public transportation. Like, you know, you cannot communicate with friends. Yeah. Go to school. I said, okay, I have to back to study it again <laughs> because it's so important here. Like yes. in Ukraine, yeah. uh, we have lots of buses and different. Yeah, even I, to small I never town. didn't drive before. My father always had a car. Mm -hmm. Always, all his life. Like I remember, like 
I never didn't think to ask him teach me. Yeah. I didn't need it. I have like every second, you know, like I'm from a big city. It was the biggest difference to move <laughs> here. It's like every every few minutes, like you have buses, mini buses, trolley buses, like you know everything here. Of But course. here to get from one place to another, you need to drive. It, you know, I have a. No, it's not joke. It's truthful story. Uh, when I, I sometimes I like to walk in the evening. Me maybe. too. Yeah. You know, I feel And like I was one person who was walking. Yeah. Main street sometimes, <laughs> but especially in King guys, New Hampshire, um, there are lots of squirrels. Yes, <laughs> and chipmunks and chipmunks with squirrels. So it's good. Uh, it's a good party. Um, have you ever thought of giving up everything and returning to Ukraine? Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh yes. Even now, because <laughs> I was telling this to face to my husband, like you know, and uh, I was crying on my pillow. It was during the first maybe first two years maybe first year was the mm -hmm. hardest one after you know after when you become pregnant you have different reasons like you know you're having kids like when you just got the kids like set up your family it's like kind of come down those uh, like but still like in one and a half year no in two and a half years yeah my first time come back to ukraine with my first daughter And yes, I wanted back to Ukraine. I had I had actual money in my pocket always, like <laughs> to buy tickets back. <laughs> like who knows what happens. I got it. So, um, what like internal changes happened to you uh, during your life in America? I started more conf be more confident mm -hmm. in myself, and um, I started more flexible in our relationship mm -hmm. with my husband. I got that it. is the biggest difference. It's a big difference, um, like your inner changes and your outlook. It's so different. You think about it, yeah. Yes, it's it's everything different here. Everything, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. You know. <laughs> and uh, what about your daughters? Actually, Natalia and uh, I have met uh, several times um, in the company of friends, and uh, I understand how how responsible she is in uh, raising her daughters. They are so amazing, Zoya and Faina. And um, I have a question like, what is it like to be a Ukrainian mother of two American half Ukrainian children? children. <laughs> you know, like, I, I, I don't think it's a different to be Ukrainian mother for American kids or Ukrainian mother just for Ukrainian kids. It's just a different generation, mm -hmm. like different time. You know, but I try to keep those Ukrainian traditions alive in our family. I try to teach them my language, you know, and um, like it's it's just different because like you know, um, information what they get in, it's much faster than we've been getting. It's a different childhood before like if I need meet my friends, I just open my door, go outside, knock on their door, ask their parents, can we play together? Mm -hmm. Now like I'm coming back home, they communicate with friends on the phone and said, Mom, that time, that day, can I play with my friend at her house or here? Like, you yep. know. It's happening so quick. Give me a second. I just come back. Like, mm -hmm. uh, give me a few minutes. Like, whose friend is it? Whose parents? Like, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah exactly. Yeah, I have to. I have to know. Like, I'm Ukrainian mother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. It's it's different because of different time. And as I understand that your children know English perfectly. Of course. Yeah. Uh, maybe do you have? Did you have time and? Does I correct you, your English? Oh, oh yes, you know, like now, last a few years, uh, most of my oldest daughter, yeah. I actually appreciate her. She started correct me, but you know, it's not all the time. If her ears can hear something, a weird sound, or like my pronunciation, mom, what did you say started love just at this? Because some words can be so similar, like, you know, just one sound you change can be so similar and funny how it's quick and uh, change meaning of those words. And uh, she corrects me sometimes. Yeah, but we're making love at it. And I like when people correct me. Sometimes my you like it? My husband stopped correcting me. Yeah. I don't know why. Before he did, <laughs> now he stopped. My best friend, she was a teacher in community education. She stopped correcting me. Like, you know, we just have a friend's relationship. Like, you know, if you meet each other, <laughs> she doesn't need yeah. to do it. But yeah, like, I don't know why. At work last time, one of my co-worker said, Natasha, 
can I correct you? He was so careful. He thought it will be like embarrassing. Uh-huh, like, uh-huh. you know, he said, oh, yes, of course. You know, I maybe started used to it. It's fine for me. Yeah, it's, it's not fine. A, it's not embarrassed me anymore, like, you know. And uh, I understand my English never will be perfect. Like, you know, I always will have my accent. He's like, was so careful. Can I correct you? You always say in that way, but correct yeah. to say another way. I said, oh, thank you. He was, oh, serious? You're not, uh, like... Uh, you find this? I said, yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, because it's so good, especially study English in America, because everybody is American, like almost everybody is American, and you don't have any better experience than here to study English. Yes, yeah? yes. And uh, yeah, we need, we need to understand when it's real help uh, for us, because English is so important, and our speaking... My friend tell, told me about chicken and tips. Like all the time I said like tips, chicken, and my mm-hmm. friend said to me tips and chicken. And I the same, I said to, he, to her like thank you so much because mm-hmm. it's so important. And um, now I want to read the topic that hurts every Ukrainian. I'm also Ukrainian and I came to the USA very recently because of war. On February 24th, 2022, Russia attacked Ukraine. The, the Russian army wanted to take um, over the country in three days, but our Ukrainian strength and power um, withstood the onslaught. Unfortunately, now large-scale actions are being conducted um, in the eastern and southern territories in Ukraine. And um, Natalia, you are Ukrainian. Almost all of your life was spent in Ukraine. What do you feel when you see such destruction in our world? I feel scared. I feel terrible. I cannot believe it's still happening. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that day when it started, I don't know why I didn't sleep. And like before go to bed, usually I go much earlier, like earlier to bed. And uh, before go to bed around 12 midnight, I check news. I don't know why, you know. I see all territory of Ukraine yep. was was bombed. Like I don't know what to do. I have to call my father. It's his early morning. I connect. I called my father. He slept. They bombed airport in my city and. Um, he didn't hear that because it's far away from city. It's on big distance. He, I wake him up. Uh, he wake up. I, I couldn't believe it. Mm-hmm. And like after next three months, it was like just. Uh, I don't, I didn't sleep. I think I maybe slept like three four hours at night. I didn't sleep. I always was in news. I was scared to miss something happened like worse with my family. My father actually has a visa to Ukraine. I opened him before COVID started. He didn't came here because of COVID. It like just COVID looked like and that started yeah. a war. I offered him to came here, but he say, no, it's my home now. He's 75, like, you know, he could leave, but no, he wants to stay there. It's, it's hard. Real patriot. Yes, <laughs> yes, he's saying the same. Like, you know, Natasha, this is my home, this is my yeah. roof. This is my city. I'm staying here. And uh, another part of my family been evacuated. My aunt, my cousin, they have a small son, three years old. They've been evacuated. My best friend been evacuated. But it's just women. Uh, we have to understand uh, from first day we started, it was announced a military time. Mm-hmm. Like uh, guys aged between 18 and 60, if I'm right, they cannot leave a country. if. Uh, another country opening doors, their doors and border for refugees, the temporary moving people. It's mm-hmm. most of women and the kids. It's most of women and the kids. It's still like uh, every I day see. I'm still wake up with reading news Ukrainian. Yeah, of course. If we sleeping, reading news Ukrainian. You know, I, we try to help as much as we can. You know, like organize something yard sale, organize something like uh, collected donation, we transfer money for refugees, we transfer money to support Ukrainian heroes and army. We try to do what we can, like, you know, here and be on touch with people who you know. Mm. It's hard. It's yeah. hard. I cannot believe it still continue. Yeah, that's 
that that's so hard for everyone. Unfortunately, these actions are being conducted in our life, especially in Ukraine. And um, what might every compassionate person in the world do to stop this evil? You know, first I want to appreciate all countries, all people. They of open course. their border and do to protect our civilians. Yeah. Like, you know, I appreciate government, different countries. They send in our, to our country um, mi um, military equipment. Mm -hmm. yep. Of course, but s please continue do it. Don't of stop. Uh, we need it. We're not end it. Don't forget about it. It's yeah. uh, because of your help, because of our heroes, we stopped that evil on our territory, like in our country, we're holding it. But you know, if it would be happened, uh, would be happened that what you said during the three first days, what was planned, and oh, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, world he will stop in Ukraine? Yeah. I don't think so. I think he will move further to Europe. Like, thank you for yeah. your support. Uh, like, just please continue do it, and we need it. Yeah, I think, and everybody think things that um, Ukraine now it's protect yes. different countries and all the aid that has arrived and is currently arriving in Ukraine is extremely helpful to our heroes for our future victory. Um, we are so grateful to all the countries that that support and protect um, to help to, to protect uh, our Ukrainian human heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. And yes. uh, Natalia, what will be your first action when we will have our Ukrainian victory over Russia? Oh, we will celebrate. Yeah. You know, Ukrainian it's, likes to celebrate. It's going to be one of the most we will, Yes, days. we will celebrate and we will buy tickets to Ukraine. Of course. <laughs> right now, I hope Ukraine will have our our victory so 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 soon we yeah, yes we, 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 we hope Natalia thank you for your thank amazing you. <laughs> excursion into your life your story just proved that if you want something you will definitely get it and it's really really and never say never never yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching this video guys I'm so excited that today Natalia shared her story and um, Expect new guests very soon in our immigrant show. Katerina Karpunina and Natalia Blackmore were with you. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.